He clearly is a very senior person and was in that regime, and uh, we intend to uh, dis discuss with him uh, whatever it is he's willing to discuss with us. Two big catches in just 24 hours. One, Saddam Hussein's sidekick. The other, an ex-Iraqi spy with ties to Osama bin Laden. What's the military doing to give them to give up their secrets? Opening day of Operation Iraqi Freedom. We'll talk live to a pilot who flew in that very first strike mission, targeting Saddam Hussein himself. Fear Factor, the SARS scare hurting business in one of America's largest Chinese communities. We'll take you there. Plus, saving Private Lynch. New video taken moments after the amazing rescue of the former POW. And emotional reunions from coast to coast as thousands of U.S. troops return from war. is Operation Iraqi Freedom. Here now is Lester Holt. Good evening, everyone. Glad you're here on this Friday night. We begin with the latest headlines. The Department of Defense has announced that the Secretary of the Army, Thomas White, submitted his resignation today. Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld expressed his appreciation to Secretary White for his service to the country. Watching Operation Iraqi Freedom. Here again is Lester Holt. Welcome back to MSNBC. It's half past the hour. Let's catch you up with the latest headlines. Scott Peterson could face the death penalty in his trial for allegedly killing his wife, Lacey Peterson, and their unborn son, Connor. Stanislaw County Prosecutor James Brazelton says he'll ask for the death penalty. He made the decision after consulting with Peterson's family. The Department of Defense has announced that the Secretary of the Army, Thomas White, submitted his resignation today.